presents Play to Earn Community Join the Discord to learn more There is so much happening within our community uh, some big stuff coming up with Nine Chronicles over the next week or two. So for those of you that aren't familiar with the game, we wanted to do a bit of a walkthrough today. But firstly, welcome to my co-host, Mr. Gonzo and uh, Stefano. How are you, boys? Hey, guys. How's it going? Hello. Was that a uh, bad impersonation of my froggy voice today, John? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to attempt to say very little because of that. So uh, I'll kick it over to uh, Stefano first. How are you, sir? What have, what, have, what have you been up to? It's been crazy. It's been absolutely crazy. So um, I'm going to do like a personal shield before anything else. But uh, Corporatio has reached all time high in revenue for this month once again. So Congratulations. the growth is keep going. Uh, that's absolutely amazing. Um, it's nice to see that the blockchain space is finally like understanding that they need a legal entity to do their stuff instead of being cowboys. Number two, we got a lot of uh, scholars that have graduated. Um, not gonna go like too much into details, but like that's once again the the repeat chapter of uh, you know scholars graduating, people supporting their families, a lot of nice messages and everything. We got one member of our community that is also taking the scholarship opportunity and the time that has being released by actually playing X instead of having a nine to five job to become an NFT artist. So it's nice to see like that, that path happening. Number three, I want to have a massive, massive shout out to the God Unchained community because um, I've started playing God Unchained and the community there has been like one of the best uh, I ever seen. Like hands down i'm never seeing anything so good so if you're looking for like a, a little bit of a more complicated cards game with like more thinking process and everything um have a look over there because Shit. that that community is in insane from from that point of view um I'm out, man i'm out i can't think <laughs> <laughs> seriously though this is getting me actually all of the like the learning curves and all of the games it's like fuck. my brain is like I'm pretty stupid, you know. Like but, I can only deal with a couple things at a time. No, I agree. Like you play these games, and there's like a million buttons, and it's like icon for this and icon that, plus this, plus that. This card has got 50 million pieces of information on it. That card has information. Holy uh, shit! And that's why I think that it was worth to like do the shout out because I'm I'm very similar on that side, and finding the community not only taking the time to. Sh teach me basically how to pick the cards, creating the first noob deck for me and following me for like literally five or six hours on gameplay on teaching me every single thing. Like that community has put so much time into like teaching me that I'm, I must say thank you because I would have not been at the point where I am now without something like that happening. That's so, pretty cool. Shout out to Gods what, Unchained. What was your entry entry point there? So my entry point was like, the, the game is free, free to play. You download that, you must have a PC, by the way, it runs only on PC. Uh, you have like a, an initial deck and you start like playing around a little bit. Every time that you level up, and obviously the beginning is very easy, you receive a pack and you open the pack and you get like the cards that then every single card is an NFT and you can sell them and so on. So I ended up with a bunch of cards, like 100, 120 cards, all on different things. And obviously I don't know anything. So someone in the community jumped in and was like, hey, let me see every single card that you got and let me create your team. And that was basically like my starting point. Took me like two stream on, on Twitch and I was up to speed basically. That's uh, so it's a lot like Magic the Gathering, it sounds. Yeah, it's pretty much like on, on that logic and, and so on. So that's absolutely amazing. Cool. Other things that I want to share that I think are like pretty good. Uh, number one, if you own a land on Vulcanverse, Vulcanverse is a MMORPG. Uh, they now have like an open, a private open beta for all the landowners. So if you own a land, you can have access to the beta or the alpha, whatever, it's, like it, uh, it's a private version and you can start like testing out the game. A land right now is going for $2,000, $2,500 pretty much. So that's kind of like your, your entry ticket uh, if you're interested in something like that. Other news, um, ARX key or ARX, 
uh, Key, which is a game, kind of a game, it's more like of a game slash uh, LP providing uh, yield farming type of thing. It's kind of like a DeFi mix to, um, to a gaming type of thing with NFTs and those type of things. They've announced their live version yesterday, so Monday in that specific case, but that's another thing if you're into like those type of models a little bit and you wanna test it out. Um, other things that are worth mentioning, uh, a big, enormous, gigantic shout out to the r forking community. And this is like, I know that it's chilling because we are in the r forking channel, but man, 64 subs on Sunday stream. 64 like the hard forking community has stepped in on the twitch uh sector and has been like absolutely insane so big shout out on that uh the community is once again coming together in in a super super beautiful way other things that are worth of notice coca-cola enter the space and done a partnership for friendship day with decentraland they're gonna issue wow. wearables so that's gonna be like an interesting one. Um, oh, thanks. Coke wearables. Uh, you know, I think it's like still a, a, a nice. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's for, bullish, for but it's not, you know, big Coke. I don't know. I'd rather that than the the morning sun of Hong Kong doing a partnership with with the sandbox. To be honest, like I don't know. Uh -huh. They did that. Bre yeah, yeah, yeah. They also own land and and everything. Like, was well, that a partnership though? That's like, oh, I bought breakfast at McDonald's, so I have a partnership. Well, that's the thing. Like, there, there is kind of an agreement where they're gonna like shill a little bit the sandbox or like mentioning blockchain stuff and everything. I, I don't really know the terms too much. I think like that a lot it's private, but that's another thing that that has happened from from that side. Um, another thing on Avagotchi, uh, the floor level has doubled in uh, in the past week. So if you have portals, if you have like those type of things, if you have any NFT in uh, in that space, if you're being accumulating. That's uh, that has been like uh, absolutely insane. Um, yesterday alone, we got like an increase of 25%. So that's been crazy. Um, other things that is worth that we mentioned on this channel, boxes, the little uh, NFTs that are relating like on Final Fantasy tactics, kind of like uh, that that style type of thing. They got their two all time high sales, one for 17 ETH and one for 20 ETH. Um, you know, for something that was going for like less than a ETH for majority of the cases, seeing like that type of volumes that are like similar, similar, I know that is less, but similar to like CryptoPunk or, you know, Axie Mystics floor and, and stuff like that, it shows that there is like a, a community or a lot of people that are starting looking into the gaming world um, in, in a very broad way. So that's another market that is increasing in volume and in, in value per se. Uh, we got the, the Meta key done by Medi that is still like doing partnerships. They are dropped now um, a set of NFTs for a new game that is developed on the central end that is about like Dragon Eggs or uh, a Wonderland Quest type of thing. Um, I'm still very confused. The main point is like it was a launch for some collectibles NFTs and that cost like $200. Um, I didn't really bought into that at all, but on the other side, um, there were some free wearables that are being dropped. So if you have like one of the three NFTs of the meta key, once again, that recurring um, drop of free NFTs, free wearables, free stuff is, is keep going. Um, another thing on free drops, the Yoshi drop, which I mentioned a few times in the Wex blockchain, they have airdrop a lot of boxes uh, that has like little music NFTs inside. So that's another thing. Uh, and the final thing, I think just like to keep it short, which is not short because like there are 5,000 million updates already. Um, Nine Chronicles has mined their block number two millions. So massive achievement as well on the blockchain for of the Nine Chronicles blockchain. Um, so project is keep growing and that also goes inside that the value of Nine Chronicles gold has kind of been doubled in the past week, to be honest, uh, from like that going down that we had like uh, in the last live stream on Friday. Now we have the value that is doubled from there. So that's another nice moment if people are looking at selling more than buying. But, you know, things are moving up. So. I'm buying more. All without an exchange. All without an exchange. Yeah, yes, look, we're going to keep you updated on uh, on how that project rolls out. Uh, and on that note, uh, we wanted to do a, a, a short little clip here uh, to show you how to how to set the game up. 
so thank you for that, Stefano. That was a, a very concise uh, and well and in depth uh, rundown of what's happening in the gaming space. So, Mr. Gonzo, we'll we'll hand it over to you. Well, you know, crypto picked up actually, and the NFT games seem to be following along quite well. Uh, the project we reviewed last week, blockchain, blockchain cuties. cuties. Uh, because it's a bit of a run. It's like up a hundred percent. So oh. actually, I did a. I did the LP uh, farming on that one. So I took the B code that we got, I put a little bit more ETH in, and then I did an LP, and that's crazy. So, you know, if you're on your blockchain cutie site, you go to B code here, and that'll bring you up to, you know, if you want to buy B code, it just takes you to your uh, Uniswap, right? No big deal. You do that, you buy a couple of B code if you don't have, and then there's a, you can just stake your B code. Or you can do liquidity provide, which is here, and that will take you to, to the liquidity provision where you add ETH and you add BCUG. You combine that together, and then it gives you the BCUG ETH LP tokens. So here I have 14. And like I said, I just did this about, I don't know, an hour ago. And the APY is 537%, which is quite crazy. So I've already earned uh, $1.79 in like an hour and a half. So 500 and. 37 percent okay it's not bad yeah so i'm i'm all in there and it's you know it's sort of a bit of a run up so that's usually a decent time to do liquidity but when you look at the charts it's still i got a lot more way to run so you know with lps you lose in permanent loss right so if i wait till it goes up and then i withdraw i'm going to lose all my bcug but if i ride to the top and then ride it down again you're going to end up with more bcug and more ETH. so i'm fully like i'm I'll let this run for as long as it goes. Uh, you know, if it hits like 25 bucks and there's a huge amount of money in there, then, you know, I'll probably take some profits. But as it is now, it seems like a decent little way to make uh, a little bit of passive income. And so I started playing the game as well. You know, it's not quite as engaging as Axie just due to the fact that like, you know, you got you guys, I got a bunch of crappy little uh, guys here. They're all sick and hurt because they're so weak. You put them, you send them on adventures, but they're all hurt now. you can't do that. So. Uh, just kind of figuring it out. We've uh, Pusa, who's been helping me a lot. Uh, she's figuring out the breeding and she's figuring out different ways that we can earn on this. And we've got uh, got quite a few. I think I've got 12, 13 guys already signed up. And then there's a bunch of the other scholars are putting in a bit of money, trying it out on different blockchains. I did have a bit of a problem. Like I deposited some neat, some Neo. I tried to buy, got a wallet arrow, and then I realized, oh, it's Neo gas. So I got Neo gas and that still gave me an error. So I'm pretty much going to give up on Neo. I'm going to sell it. Luckily I bought it and then it pumped like 40%. So that was okay. <laughs> so actually both of those. So I'm going to sell those and try and get on the EOS chain and see if I can get some EOS cuties for it. So, I mean, it's a decent project and it's, you know, I really like how it's been around so long and they're like developing everything. You know, it's one of those, they've been through the wars. They've been, they were here before. They'll probably be here after. So they're just waiting for that little bit of, uh, you know, the NFT push that's coming. And it seems like it's got it with the token price. Now let's see if they can get it with the adoption and people playing it. So that was kind of cool. And then yesterday, or the day before, I've had some scholars come up talking to about a game that I think Stefano has also checked out, which is called Crypto Blades. Um, we don't have anything to do with this yet, but I just checked it out. And it's scholars were like, whoa, boss, 190 bucks and you can... For an entry to get a character and that's 110 dollars daily that you can earn and i was like wow that sounds insane so you know I, I checked it out and then i i tried to buy some same but you got to buy on ape swap which is a bsc chain it's on bsc chain for the fees uh but right away i was really like everything was about you got to buy skill you got to buy skill you got to buy skill and then i was seeing numbers it was like number one app on dap radar and most volume and most users and the market cap is like insane right now for me i'm like this just feels like another bsc scam this timing of it the hype there's no like it just i don't trust so much stuff with crypto and this just feels like uh not really good and then i went to the market and i don't think it's set up now but everything you couldn't buy anything it was all just said sold out sold out so it's like well what's the point and everything was completely overpriced it was like four or $500 for an asset. I was like, whoa, what is going on here? I'm going to stay away from this, I think. 
So I don't know. What was your experience there, Stefano? Did you check it out? So I got like a few people in the community that has been ans asking about that for, for a few weeks already. And um, I think that like we started talking about like Crypto Blades the first time on Twitch like three weeks ago or, or something like that. And number one, if you are looking and going and have a look at Coin Gecko, you will see that in the past two weeks, the price has increased by 10,500%. 10,000. Two weeks, 10,500. Yeah, it's And um... it doesn't have a story. So if you're looking at the chart, you will see that like it was going between like $5. It went down to like below a dollar for all May and June. It was a project that it was basically flat or, or dead or like, you know, that there wasn't nothing happening there. And then all of a sudden, bam, 10,500%. Number one, the, which is a red flag already for that. If I'm seeing something that is up 10,500, I'm not entering for sure. And it's on BSC chain. Number two, it's on Binance Smart Chain and everybody knows what's my opinion on that. We love it. N number three, there are a tons of content creators that I've seen that are reviewing like gaming that are being like ROI, insane ROI, got my money back, uh, multiply 10x of my money in two weeks, blah, 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 which is the classic shilling pump and up that we have seen in so many other projects in the past. Now, this is a gaming, so it's a little bit different and people think it's more chill because it's a game. No, it's not. It's yeah, pretty, they, figured out how to, they, had a, they figured out how to scam and pump and dump games now. You know, pretty much. I don't put it past the crypto degens and uh, the guys in control to do this because it's it just reeks of pump and dump. Like that's that's kind of like the same reason why I did not touch my DeFi pet for the same exactly reason oh, yeah. because I'm seeing a lot of people, a lot of content creators shilling that as a game that is like amazing. Some members in the community I've asked about that and they're like the play to earn is not even available yet. I'm mm -hmm. like, then why people are shilling that as a play to earn? Like the, the, we need to because they got a repeat. fat pocket stuff on them. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the classic thing, and and that's why I, I say that many many times in the past, and especially last Friday, we need to start being absolutely brutally honest on this type of situation because we're going back on DGen on DeFi. Uh, and then it ended up on having the rug pull, and then we had like the layer twos and all of that things on like all the scam on. On Binance, on Binance Smart Chain on, on January and February. Now it seems like this thing is approaching like on the gaming industry and so on. However, however, to be fully transparent, I know one person in our community that I was talking with on Sunday and she has bought in Crypto Blade and she has already made back her money. And she was like, you know, I put some penny dollars to test it out. I'm actually got my money back and now I'm playing like with free chain. So that is a strategy that I, I I think is okay. You know, if you wanna, if you're willing to take the risk, if you're like entering and you're like, this might be a pump and dump, this might be a scam, this might be something that is very very weird, and I'm willing of taking like those few hundreds of dollars to risk it, and then you got back your money, and you know you play only with free cash at that point. I don't see that being a negative thing as as an approach. Am I suggesting people to do that? No, not at all. Did you see the game? The game is not fun. Let's be no. honest on this for a second. It's it's an LP providing thing. It's something where you're buying an NFT. It might sound Ooh, familiar I because we have interviewed a project that I completely destroyed pub privately and never actually got released that interview. You buy an NFT, you use an NFT to run an LP to get like, you know, uh, a farming thing and you gain a token thanks to that. Sounds familiar, like, and the <laughs> NFTs are actually issued by a project. Sounds familiar, anybody? So, you know, uh, I don't like it. <laughs> My ultimate point is that I don't like it. I'm going to stay away from that. A lot of people on Twitch has been asking me about that. I've been always saying that I'm not touching that. But to be fully transparent, I'm also ignorant because I didn't check too much into that. So I might be completely wrong on that. And some members of our communities have actually made their money back so far. This does not mean that it's a safe project. You know, I know people that made their money back even on BitConnect. And yeah. that, you know. Yeah, just being early. Hey, hey, hey. That's the thing. That's the thing. So, you know, I, I, I don't like it. At 10,500%, I'm out of there. In two weeks, no. 
A uh, quick update on Axie before we look at uh, Nine Chronicles, guys. Obviously, <laughs> more server issues today. I see Geo all, all over Twitter. Um, pretty frustrating, but, uh, yeah, growing pains, as we've discussed. Any other thoughts on that one or covering the same territory? No, the, the, the issues are always the same. Like, they need to get their, their stuff together. Like, you know, they, it, it's, it's a bit silly to call... Uh, I, I once again I think that they need to like I, I'm not a hundred percent sold on the way that they're communicating this publicly, but I also understand that because they have a very enormous and gigantic community, they need to do the the relaxed shilling supporting approach. Um I'm not a fan of that way of communicating, but you know, uh, it's it's a strategy. And I understand I a, that. I got a strategy for them. Do like Binance. When the peak bull run, just shut it down. Don't take any new uh, new people until the server demand catches up. Yeah, yes. Yeah. You want to see makes sense to me. in the price, <laughs> right? Like it's it's it, it's true not? because you know the it was good Thursday Friday right. Uh, I got my daily adventure done for the first time in like two weeks. Like I didn't even Same. bother trying. It was such a pain in the ass. But now, I mean, it was one day. Everybody said whoa, so everybody everybody floods back and then. We're back to where we started mm. now. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, I get it. I understand. You know, the game isn't even finished yet. The game is like alpha or beta or whatever it is. It's not on the Play Store. It's not on the App Store. They're still figuring it out. There's a whole bunch more stuff coming. So, like, I get it. But, you know, that, like Stefano said, there should be a little bit more communication or some kind of solution or I don't know. But at the same time, you know, what we're getting is we got that big run up. So we had a ton of people FOMO in a lot of money, right? Like there was a guy in my group. He's like, oh yeah, I put t uh, 20K in a month ago. Now I have 20 scholars. Do you think it's going to crash now? You know, obviously everything dips. And it's like, what, well, dude, how deep did you go so fast? Like, you know, so I mean, it's classic crypto stuff, right? People get impatient, you know, they jump on the biggest thing. That's the hype of the moment. And then they're like worried because they haven't done the proper due diligence. Uh, so, I mean, if you've done your due diligence, you know, this is still, still because, the best game out there for you, though, or play to earn game for you, Mr. Gonzo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, of course. I mean, you, 100%. we check out, we've got our daily SLP trackers and it doesn't seem to be slowing the scholars down that much because <laughs> it's like it's still cranking away that, you know, the scholars are finding a way. Right. These guys are dedicated. And that's you see this all over Twitter, people ripping on uh Axie AXS and SLP price. Oh, it's a pump and dump. It's going to dump. And it's like, guys, do just a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of fundamental research. Yep. Staring at your fucking lines and your charts and your fucking different methods. Like, look at what is actually happening here. You know, the uh, so many people. Ah, uh, exactly. We've got what sta staking what, rewards and, and AXS is coming up for playing the game. There's the, I mean, the roadmap's pretty amazing. So they're not selling their axes because the price dips. Yeah. The demand is there. Like every scholar I have is boss. I got a friend. I got a family member. You know, so many people want scholarships, yeah. not because of the token price, not because of crypto, because they need a job. Yeah. Right. And for them, this is the most appealing job out there. Work your own hours. Uh, you get paid for what the hours that you put into it. You know, it's perfect. You don't have to sit at a desk. You don't have to answer to a boss. I mean, you got to answer to me and Stefano, but what do we say? Yeah. <laughs> I've got more like, teams coming and congratulations to my new scholars. I spent about four hours breeding more with Mr. Gonzo yesterday. So uh, plenty more teams coming, people. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's better to have a nine to five than answering to the three of us, to be honest, but <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> there, I, I, there was some funny videos about the, the meta developing Elijah. You know, he's like a top streamer. He's all, I think Dusk is the best class in the game, maybe. <laughs> Welcome. I wonder which channel has mentioned that seven months ago. <laughs> so it's pretty fun. All the scholars are like, boss, can I have another Dusk? So now the hype is on the Dusk, which is cool because I got a stack. Maybe I'll start selling them. Spoiler alert. This one is for Jordan. It's not me. <laughs> it's all good. So that's kind of cool to see. I can, I'm really excited to see the next season go, man, because I feel like we could have 15, 20 top 500 players, which would be yeah, really, but the, really impressive. 
I don't think that they're going to issue next season. And <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, the way the server is, it's like you cannot string any wins together without getting disconnected. And the winner of the tournament would be who just doesn't get disconnected. That would be the winner. <laughs> it, <laughs> it, how here's the thing. Know. I was thinking that they were going to have like, you know, almost things in place, but looking at how long it's taken and looking like that, the fact that they are hiring always, 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 I think that this is a job that they're doing from scratch. So I'm, I'm putting that in a negative way. Unfortunately, I hope to be like absolutely wrong, but I think that we're going to have like another month of a situation like this. I think that was like, it's time to get like Gio that. back on this channel. Sure. Yeah, totally. I don't yeah, it's been a year since like the first interview that we got with him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I, I don't think there's, the, the scaling solution is going to get solved tomorrow or anything like that. It's definitely going to be some time. That's why I was suggesting, you know, maybe they limit the users for a bit, you know, so they can get on top of it. And the people that are here, they can play stable, <coughs> right? You're in yeah. early, so you get to play, right? And they cut it like, okay, no more new uh, uh, Lunasians until we can sort out the server issue. So the people that are here can play and the new people don't just clog up the system and mess it up for the older people, right? Just a suggestion. Jiho, Alexander, if you guys are listening, come yeah. on. Let's figure Let's this out. Let's up and get them back on. So uh, should we round it out with a, uh, a look at uh, Nine Chronicles today, boys?